Guys, look at this buggy. Somebody friggin' made this. It's pretty, I mean, I'll, let's, I'll give them a little credit. There probably ain't no bushings in that, but there's also no play, so maybe there's bushings in there. They're probably duct tape bushings, I taught them that. Sweet. And custom seats, boys? What, the Honda GX390? Doug, why are we even messing with the pull starter? It's got a big old electric start right here. Kidding me? Dudes, get up in there. Look at this contraption. Hoopty. That ain't no eight horsepower Honda. It's 13 GX390. We got us a tune-up kit for it today. Let's see what it came with. Let's see what we got. Let's see what it is. The kit, check it. It's 39 bucks. Comes with new carburetor, new coil, new gaskets, new fuel filter and lines, new spark plug. I was just looking for this. I was going to clean the carburetor, but that's such a good deal. I can't pass it up. Now we got to take a daggum grinder to this shit and get the, this old weld off of here. Oh, great. He's got this all undone too. We need to put like a, a shit ton of screws in that too. Actually, uh, why don't we do that first? Why don't we get some screws and put them in back there so that this is mounted securely and then we'll cut this off. Hey, good. Just a sec to look at some of the handiwork. Have you seen the oversized extended tire rods on this? I have not. Come look. I'd rather get your face. Look at the tire rods in the up front. Or tie rods, whatever they want to call them. Okay. And tell me they extended them, man, so that they'd oh, be... Wow. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Come on! That's plus two. That's plus two inch. Wow. That's rebar, too, so that's, that's good shit. That's good stuff. See how it started to rust the stuff that wasn't rusty? That's how you know it's good. Yeah. It's contaminating it all. Look at this one though. I see, you know, it's making chinny. Where'd they even put chinny? Yeah, where'd they even put the welds on that? Where'd they hide the welds on that some <laughs> bitch? They're underneath. There's like no welds, dude. It's like they fucking stuck it together. Oh my goodness. And they made this tubing, which is cool. They made the. It's hard to say. Yeah, they bent, they bent some tubing, I guess. Yeah, wrinkled it, kinked it, and made these seats. I ain't even set, oh, holy shit, boy. It's all forgiven. Everything makes sense now. Dude, the Texas pedals, you see them? Damn, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it must have been, he must have decided to put in the plus two front end whenever he replaced the steering shaft. There's a lot of the same parts are in here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that ain't no problem. Like, so don't underestimate him just because, you know, he's loco. <laughs> Dude, peep this go-kart. I really like the fender. Look at the plus two front end and the tire rods. I saw that in the video. It's got the, got the plus two tire rods. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause you were saying you wanted an Odyssey, but you were on like a, a on a. a uh, yeah, this is. Now he was gonna put some springs right here, so the cab had suspension, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> but it actually flexes quite a bit. It didn't this even need springs. Right here? That's kind of goofy. Yeah. It's all a little goofy, but at least he, you can hang your feet out the end. Made everything on this bitch like square. It's <laughs> hey man, it's pretty cool though. Well, that was my fault. It started pissing Fuck real bad. Call. Fucking cow. Uh, it's got the kill switch here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's necessary or not. The coil has a wire that runs up through there and it's sticking, hanging over there. See it? I think yep. that's for the kill switch. I think that goes to here. Sure. Yep. And then what goes there? Ground. Is it that? A ground? No, that's one wire. Oh, it doesn't even need nothing. It would just be teeing it off. Huh? Or it does need to go to a ground. No, because it would have to be before it, the switch. It probably, this is ground, and it hooks into here. Mm -hmm. And this is grounded to the to the motor. So when you have it on, it's yeah. not grounded. You turn it off. When you hit off, it grounds it and kills the coil. So is this a wire. pickup coil and a ignition coil in one? This is like the sensor for the flywheel too, right? Probably, yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Like the Predator thing. Dude, that's a 390. I, I kind of want to rip it. This, uh, it's a low oil sensor. Hmm. That's weird. 
Because I looked at the, you want me to show you the diagram I seen? Teachable lesson, boys. Before you ever start up a go-kart, anything that's automatic, really. This could be a whole ass lifesaver right here. Okay. That way when she fires up, she don't Elon Musk fucking straight through here. <laughs> You'll beat the ground. Go Falcon 1 right into the fucking ground in the yep. bigger head. So let's see if she starts, dudes. I don't know. You got to pull it because you're the one that said you fixed it. We did some carb stuff. What we do? Some new stuff. stuff. It's, a new, it's a new carburetor. New pull start. Look at that. She new fuel lines. Petrol. New brown fuel. What's this? Gravy fuel. Put it. Put this. Put this over here. That's a choke. I think you might want to flip it over there flip when you find it. Here. Jiggle these wires. Flick them. Flick them. Flick them. Break the pull cord. Oh, you know what? Let's pull the plug. I bet you it's hydrolocked with water. Yeah, let's pull the plug. It's turning over too hard. Oh, look, it's hydrolocked, bro. <laughs> exactly. Well, David just blew up my engine, guys. Let's pull the fucking spark that's how, that's plug. You've been valves. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, bro. He's like, no, no, let me pull it again. No, I insist. I insist. I can start. Spraying water out the fucking exhaust, and it's facing down, so you know it came off the piston. Watch yourself. You think it's out, bro? Shit. It ain't out. Just got red, don't it? Go hold the throttle open for me, dog. Give me one. Hot oh yeah, you can do it. Right here. Okay, not bad. It just does have a ton of compression, huh? So we put a little Marvell in there. It's good to go. It's good to go. Just PB it a little bit. Hot. That's hot. Well, we're going to clear out right now, boys. The brake situation's a dire one, boys. Somebody tried. David tried to kill me. Look, he cut my brakes, y'all. Mm -hmm. He cut my brakes. Sabotage. That's old as it gets right there, cutting brakes. So we're going to drill a hole in the side of this pedal, move this up further, put a bolt through it and a washer. Fold it over and crimp it. And then go dry. And then they'll hang up nicely. Look, it's got a sweet, this carrier he made. Yeah. And a uh, little aviation cable. It's got that badass Boy Scout knot. Yeah, it held up better than the weld. <laughs> Look, this Boy Scout knot held up better than he tried to weld it to the daggum pedal. Yeah. He spent some time on the Texas. All right, you want to try her again? Did we turn, it died, it's still on, huh? Oh. We're gonna have to adjust the carburation unit. I got your throttle, bro. You got it choked? I'm gonna choke it. Look. It's got it. All right, kill the choke. Just to idle on it. Should be on the side. Oh, it might be good now. It's good though. Yeah, I would have lost. <laughs> yeah, it would have took. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get <laughs> it. Damn, boys. Well. Oh, you can turn it down a little bit there. That'll do it. Oh, yeah, with the ground's weight on there, huh? Huh? Just kind of try and do like the amount of ground weight that'll yeah, be on it. A little bit. Well, we're going to try and get brakes on it before we send it. Before we sell it, at least. I got one of Hey, hey, yeah, whoa. I probably have one, though. I say I think I have one, too. It's, cut, it's a, wait, wait, go stop it real quick the numbers he said it's a 40 series but i think it's a 30 series i think i have one of those belts 
for when this one slings off. I got motor sounds good, boys. All right, let's do a couple things. We're going to get the brake work, and that shouldn't take long. And should we relocate this kill switch? Yeah. Or put a new one on it? I got another. Can... We can just leave that one and do one up here. Yeah. All right. Just need some wire and a switch. Do you want to try and get some pressure on that cable? Or right here, this is what we'll do. Oh, they work. We're going to get these brakes working, fellas, because it's kind of necessary in this shit box. You want to just tack it back to it? Uh-uh. So we've made a brake cable here. We got us a little perch adjuster we put on there, and we got an actual cable that has a sheath on it. It's protected. We got it wrapped up, boys. We got a wrap on her. And then that's simply just a anchor. Whenever you want to stop, you throw that out. <laughs> Great fucking you pull that cable that way. All the slack out. There's you. Now we're gonna attack attach her to here. This should be a done deal. Alright, boys. Before we send it. No, it'll it'll soften up, I bet. Look at here, dudes. So far. Let's just before before you guys think I should test ride it. Which you know we're going to do it either way, even if you told me not to. Um, it's got some bugs. They put some bugs on there, some good bugs. That's J, That's high quality JB. Right there, dudes. We got, we did this, but our brake's a little bit nicer than the old setup. Oh, my goodness. The plus two. It's got the plus two on the front tire rods. Tire, tire, this one's about plus rods. one and a half tire oh. rods. All right. So it's got the plus two on the front tire rods. And tire. then on this side... You just, <laughs> what the fuck are you, you talking tie, about? Tie. I just said tie. I know, they're tie. Okay, so I'm gonna do it tie. again. <laughs> so Tell fucking, them about it. They got, well, this looks like a plus two yep. tie rod, and this one is about plus one and a half, but they were just trying to get the alignment right. Yeah, that's, that's a, cause it was. That's a yerk dog, rack opinion. Yeah. Uh, quality. Quality, look at how chicken shit. Then, <laughs> like guys, don't worry about that Pretty because everything same, else is so chicken shit. It's kind of the same shit a Mustang comes with. He made these A-arms. Look, boys, not even a lot, not that much play. He must have my duct tape bushings in there. I've taught a lot of people my ways. So he cruised back here, new pull start. These brakes are janky. Some reason David run it up and around the air filter. In case we gotta redo it. Oh, gotcha. I don't wanna cut it off and it's not coming up. Right. Dang. The old 30 series converter, what, it won't turn? Or is it gonna rub the wheel? No, look. It rubs the wheel. The steering was gonna come loose with this nut right here that's about to fall off. Oh, you're gonna tighten it? Yeah, so you don't die. Nice. We appreciate that. You're the one driving it, bro. <laughs> you're the one. You said you're the race car driver. Look at the custom seats. The custom Texas. Get. Give her more Texas, buddy. Give her the buddy. Hit the Texas, buddy. So no need to hit her with the grease gun, or we just give her the eyeball test. Will it even start again? Oh yeah, she'll start. So we got her up on the stand, boys. Just to be, a, it's got some sweet uh, CR or XR50 suspension, double. Nice, two of them. They're not even cranked up yet. Two times, two times. Yeah, I know. They bet they ought to. Look at this one's bent three different ways, bro. Oh, yeah. It goes this way, this way. I'm gonna send it though. I mean, David is. They've been jumping the fuck out of it. Oh yeah. You get your switch on. David's dying to break this rope off. You got choker, faux show. Listen to that hog ass cam. Because the choke's on. It's off now. Yeah. Oh. It did earlier. I think the throttle was wide open. Oh, it goes backwards, huh? Wait, let go. I'm gonna push it with the pedal and see. Does it go the same way? All right, here, try it. I got the throttle. Yeah, it's got a big delay, huh? Is that all of it? Rev it up with your hand. It'll rev way higher than that, won't it? So it ain't pulling it that far or what? Holy shit. 
so we need to adjust our throttle cable. Here, see if it pulls it all the way over with my hand. It does? I think you just need to clear out, bro. You riding it or me? You are. All right, dude. David's a scale. David's a scale. This is the kind of shit that gets me up in the morning, boys. Yep. Yeah. Like, seriously. Park there, you? you can hit it. See, I'm just gonna try and rip a couple donuts in it. These old fucking seats, man. The throttle just hangs, dude. The brakes don't work. The front tire broke. It didn't break, did it? No. It just gets in a fucking bind. Yeah. Dang it. Engine got in a bit of a bind there too, boys. Brr. Shut down for some reason. <laughs> what a pile of shit. Oh, the throttle cable killed it. Yeah, we're good now. All right. Get it. Jump donut, in it. I'll start it. It ain't gonna do a donut though. It you might. Fucking turn it that short. Maybe it's got enough horse purse purse. All right, let's see. Ready? <laughs> what happened to my brake? Let me unchoke it. Got some serious front end problems. Front tires locked up. Front end. It does. Something that can handle the speed. Yep. And a set of handlebars. And a thumb throttle. <laughs> Put it in a one seater. <laughs> yeah. Would actually be kind of cool, but. Well, if y'all got a pressure washer that needs a motor, or your, your generator needs a motor or something, it'd be a good deal for a guy like that. Yep. Or a guy who likes putting on front ends. That's a high dollar Honda motor. It's a good one. How much horsepower is that supposed to be? 13. Woo! 13. Yeah, don't look like it. Dang. But I'm not able to get the throttle open. That's all that's going on. Is the throttle cable ain't letting me. Yeah, and you got some weak ass current bender out here too, you're All right. Well, guys, that's it. That's all she wrote. Not everything's pies in the sky. And you know what they were going for? They was trying to build odyssey like david wants and let's just face it this thing's got a you know it don't have a lot of machines that it has a better front end but it has a better front end than this one so dudes fail unreal cool. we had some clipping and clopping going on i think maybe in here or, or maybe right down there in that little can you? Yeah. <laughs> they are, dude. You've seen them, right? If it is in them small go karts, it's like a, it's like a metal flower that when you turn this way, it pushes. For, it's a cog. That's like the what was on the red go kart. Man. Yeah, but it don't have all the leverage on it, dude. Well, get up on there. Get up on up in there, guys. Time Machine ATVs on Instagram, and this will be for sale on there. I know, sure, a lot of you guys could 
slap a front end on it like no problem um it's be shit. so not everything's gonna be you know cupcakes and fat blunts for you you know what i'm saying so you guys gotta you gotta take the good with the bad and i'm sure this fail makes a lot more of you guys happy than me ripping it down <laughs> i'm sure david got a kick out of seeing the front end fucking fold up like a card house so appreciate you dudes get up in there fail not worth fixing boys not worth going any further i'm just selling it as is wah, wah, wah. that's what i get thought it was going to be fun it was pretty exhilarating having the front end tuna can on me and fold up like that that was pretty fun i should have had a camera on david's face because he looked pretty well i was trying to turn though like i know i was coming straight at you but i had her cranked all the way to the left bro <laughs> man i'm selling that piece of crap part it out part it out for pressure washer parts 200 dollars. well guys you know what what can i say here you could turn her to the right pretty sharp just don't turn her left because this one will fold up immediately uh give you guys a sweet overview i mean the cheese grater seats they did spend a lot of time on they mainly remind me of like if you uh you ever seen them things you push play-doh through I really feel like these could leave a good mark on you, you know. But you don't have to worry about turning over because it won't get going fast enough. What you really got to watch out for is when this front tire breaks off, you got to have your dukes up and be able to slap it out of there. Obviously, it's a damn good thing the throttle cable stretched, I'll tell you that much. So, they spent a lot of time on it. I still think it's cool as shit. And it's got a lot of potential there. You know, the sky's the limit with something like this. So don't give up on it just yet. You got to figure out, you know, there's you could do a lot of stuff with this. I think we might have lost one of the motor mounts here, boys. This uh, this old conduit bracket. Pretty sure that was a... Uh... Oh, boy. This probably was, was holding the cam in. Great. That'll come. Look, I got all the parts I replaced. I'll just do this. This one fell off of it, guys, so, I mean, I don't know. Anywho, dudes, I appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Get up in there. Lots more to come. I have another buggy being delivered right now. I'm going to make a video with. It'll be a lot of fun. And everything's going down on the 350X. So we appreciate you guys. Get up in there.